Hey guys, Krista here from Davey and Krista. And in this video, I'm gonna do a comparison between the Show It website builder platform and the Elementor website builder platform. So Davey recorded a tutorial on this several years ago, but since then, both platforms have made a lot of updates and he kind of did like a point by point comparison and gave each one like a winning category. But a lot of things have shifted. My opinions of both platforms have shifted and I'm gonna choose some different winners in some of these categories. So if you are looking for another website builder, if you're gonna be building a new website soon, if you wanna know more about either one of these platforms, sit tight, because I think this video is gonna be really helpful. I wanna start by saying that both website platforms are incredibly reputable, and that with both of them, it's possible to build a beautiful, high-functioning, high-converting website. And if real people that you gonna get to interact with um, they answer you with kindness and they're super technical, but they're not going to speak to you in the technical jargon that I think can be kind of common among web communities. Okay. So Elementor ease of use. WordPress and WordPress in general has like a reputation for being a little bit more technical, um, a little bit more involved in terms of setup, but out of all of the like straight WordPress builders out there, so not counting show it, I think Elementor is the easiest to use. It's more calm spaced and you drag in different widgets to the different areas that you want to add text or images or videos, et cetera. Um, and so like from a front end perspective, I think it's a lot easier than something like Webflow or Divi, especially if you're trying to get your site to look and act a certain way. With that said, I think that WordPress still requires a lot more of a learning curve than something like Show It. Figuring out the columns and the stacking and the layering and adding in custom fonts takes a little bit more work. Well, I'm gonna say a lot more work than something like Show It. And they don't have an in-app chat, so you'll have to figure out your own hosting and install Elementor and install your template on Elementor. You'll have to make sure that your plugins stay up to date and that you don't add a plugin that conflicts with other plugins. And you think that Elementor can just break a lot more easily than a Show It website. And overall, I think that in all of my experience using Elementor, the websites are a lot more fragile than show it websites. You really have to keep an eye on your Elementor site to make sure that if you've added custom fonts, they don't come unlinked or that a plugin doesn't break your images. Um, and so if you have an Elementor site, I would definitely make sure that you have a quality host that does daily website backups for a while. Um, so if you host with us, we offer that um, just because it really is so easy for those Elementor sites to break. And I think that this point where I'm talking about ease of use is really important because I have a few more points that I'm gonna go through, but I think that ease of use kind of summarizes the biggest comparison between Show It and Elementor. Elementor takes some work to figure out. It takes a lot of work to maintain and Show It just straight out of the box is beautiful and easy to use and a lot more intuitive in nature. And so in 95% of cases, if somebody is asking me which platform they should go on, my recommendation is typically show it just because I think that for most people, that is really the best option. Okay, so when it comes to ease of use, I give show it the edge here by a long shot. My second point that I wanna compare on is mobile responsiveness. So what I mean here is when your website gets smaller for different screens, how easy is it to customize those other various screen sizes? So first up, let's talk about show it. Show it in their editor. They have two different versions that you're gonna be working on at any given time. You'll be working on your desktop version and your mobile version. And so within any different canvas that you're working on in Show It, you can easily customize the desktop version and then pop on the mobile version and make sure everything looks good on mobile. Show It allows you to change the fonts or layouts or several, actually a lot of other aspects um, between desktop and mobile because there are just a lot of instances where you find that something might need to look different on mobile to make it clear and readable while keeping the integrity of your design. One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make when they're working on a show it site is not looking at that mobile view until the very end of a project. So when you're adding elements to show it, a lot of times it's not the elements on mobile are not gonna pull in the styles from desktop. Sometimes they say do, and there are some ways to kind of clean up mobile a little bit faster, but unlike something like Elementor, the elements don't automatically snap into place as you're designing them. You'll wanna make sure that when you add something to desktop, you turn on mobile and double check the way it looks and kind of design as you go. I think that once you get used to that process, it's really easy and really straightforward. And I think that personally, I like it more than something like Elementor where you don't have as much control over how everything snacks and the differences between the two platforms. 
Um, but if you don't want to think about mobile at all, you might consider something like Elementor. So with Elementor, as you add different elements, they're automatically going to kind of format on mobile. You'll still need to go in and clean some stuff up, but if you didn't look at it until the end, you might not have as much to clean up as you would if you didn't look at a show it site until the end. Elementor also allows you to check the formatting on iPads and change some of the sizing and spacing on iPad specific devices or like tablet specific devices. Um, and I would say with both Show It and Elementor, both of them give you a lot more mobile control than platforms like Squarespace, Wix, Webflow, etc. So who has the edge here? I'm gonna give it to Elementor, although for what it's worth, I would still take a Show It website over an Elementor website for my personal website any day. Um, and I still prefer to build on Show It than I do Elementor even though I think Elementor technically would win this mobile responsiveness category. All right, next point is design flexibility. So if you work on an Elementor site long enough and hard enough, you can get it to look um, as beautiful as show it sites do, um, but it takes a lot more work. And like I said, in that first point, these sites are a lot more fragile. When we build our templates on show it and Elementor, the show it sites take a fraction of the time it takes us to build on the Elementor sites. Those Elementor sites take hours and hours longer and we have to continually check on them to make sure that images aren't broken and contact forms don't work. Um, we had our own website on Elementor for a long time and the contact form, which was an Elementor forum, was always breaking and it was just finicky. And I would notice that when I updated my plugins, the fonts would come unlinked. So I think that in terms of design flexibility, like yes, you could work really, really hard to get an Elementor site to look as great as a show it site, but I think it's a trade off. Like you have to think about how much time do you want to put into that project in order to get it to look exactly the same. So the edge for design flexibility goes to show it. Okay. So next up is features and tools. Like I said, at the beginning, both show it and Elementor work with WordPress, which, which gives you the full power of the WordPress tool library. I would say that straight out of the box, Elementor has a lot more tools and features but I found that I often still need to add a lot more plugins in order to get it to do exactly what I want it to do. So um, I've noticed that if I wanna add certain types of galleries to a portfolio, or I want certain um, just things to have in Elementor site, I have to still buy and support and then maintain a plugin to do a lot of the things that I really would need Elementor to do. So it technically doesn't have as much built into their platform, but I do think it has enough for 99% of websites to do what they need to do. And if you need to do something else, a lot of times you can add that through a WooCommerce or you can add that through a WordPress plugin. And just keep in mind that whether you're doing Show It or Elementor, the more plugins that you add to your website, the more intricate it becomes and the bigger it comes. And thus the more fragile it becomes and the more likely it is to load more slowly. Um, so, which is, not a, which is not great for search engine optimization if you want your site to come up higher in search engine results, which I think we all do. So when it comes to features and tools, I'm gonna to give Show and Elementor a tie here, um, cause I think that they are both really powerful since they're both built with WordPress. All right, next up is SEO and optimization. And I'm really excited to talk about this one because I think my take is a hot one, but I have the proof to back it up. There used to be this mentality out there that Show It was not good for search engine optimization. And let me just say that that is false. So. Proof in point, we used to be wedding photographers. So um, if you've been following us for a while, you might remember those days. We shot a couple hundred plus weddings over the period of like 10 years. And somewhere in the middle of our career, we switched our website to be on Show It. And we optimized our websites for our desired searches in the Annapolis, Maryland Ware area, which is where we photographed weddings. And then around the time our first child was born, so 2018, we stopped updating that website because we stopped taking weddings. We shifted to just focus on design and I didn't want any more wedding work. And then that website sat untouched for six years. I literally blogged nothing else. I updated nothing else on that website and I still got at least a few inquiries a week just because it was still on the first pages of my desired searches. So six years of touching nothing, creating no content and this show it website was still ranking first and bringing in potential work that I didn't even want to take. Um, the only reason we don't get those inquiries anymore is because we took that website down. I just didn't want to have it out there on the internet anymore because we are not photographers. So show it can be so powerful if you know what you're doing in terms of 
search engine optimization. Because Show It connects with WordPress, it allows you to have that full power of WordPress for blogging. And there are a lot of third-party plugins like Rank Math, that's our current favorite, that you can add to your Show It WordPress account to really optimize your post for searches. Show It also has some built-in tools that make it easy to customize the pages and some of the content on your website. Another thing that I think that Show It does so well, just straight out of the box, is ensuring that their websites load really quickly. And um, site speed is a major factor for ranking as well as for visitors who are coming to your site. I think that if somebody comes to your site and it doesn't load, or at least not in a few seconds, they're gonna get distracted, they might go over to Instagram, and they might forget to come back to you. So it's really vital to ensure that your website is loading quickly and just right out of the gate, show it does a really good job of that. I think that if you are the kind of person who is super technical, you like optimizing things like cascading style sheets to make sure that different JavaScripts are loaded at different times, you wanna move all of your assets. And so when I say assets, I mean like images and files and fonts and all of those things to an Amazon web server and set that up on your Elementor and really optimize the heck out of your website, um, then maybe Elementor is a good fit for you. But I would say that most of us really didn't get into the website world, the business world to care about those things. Sorry, developers, if I'm breaking your heart. Um, and so for, like, for everybody else, and so for everybody else, I think that Show It is such a good fit because it allows you to spend more time doing what you love and less time hacking the code on your website. I know that I can code. I design websites all day, every day, and I still don't wanna do those things that it would take to optimize an Elementor website. So here, the edge for SEO, I'm giving it to Show It, unless you are that person who really, like I said, wants to optimize their site and do all of those like really complicated things that I mentioned. And then like, sure, you can win for Elementor there. So I touched on help and support a little bit when I talked about ease of use and I talked about Show It's in-app support, their Facebook community. Um, they have a great Instagram account who they'll probably help you too. You can always email them for support and they're real people who if you meet them in real life, you will probably get a hug for them because they are just like that kind and they want you to succeed. Elementor also has a wealth of support because it is such a popular website builder platform out there. Their Facebook group at the time of recording this, I think they have 150,000 people in it. Um, you can submit a support ticket to Elementor and they'll get back to you in a few days, but they will probably get back to you and try to help you, although not at the same level of like human interaction that the support team will. Um, so there are resources for both of them out there, but when it comes to help and support, I give Show at the Edge um, because their support team is like bar none. The last point by point comparison is pricing because I know that pricing can be a major factor when choosing between website platforms out there. A show, it is a, sh a show It subscription is going to run you between $228 and $408 a year depending on which subscription you choose. I would say that for most businesses, it's a really good idea to blog, especially if you do care about showing up in search and your results. And so if you're going to blog, you're gonna want the advanced plan because that's gonna allow you to add the SEO plugins that really help you optimize your blog posts. Um, and it's gonna let you add any plugin that you would like to your site. It also includes a content migration if you're coming from something like Squarespace or a different WordPress website. Elementor, on the other hand, costs $69 a year, and I think it renews at a $25 discount every year. But unlike Show It, which has actually becomes your website host, you're gonna to need to find your own Elementor website host. I don't normally recommend going with Elementor themselves as your hosting platform. I would find a different high quality, reputable um, Elementor host. And so like Flywheel is normally what I recommend. I think that if you're gonna go with an Elementor website, you wanna make sure that whatever hosting you get has enough power to actually run the plugin and allow you to edit the pages. I've had people buy our templates and try to install them and the installations time out just because their hosting was shared and like $3 a month and it just didn't have the bandwidth that it needed in order to run that platform. Elementor takes some like bandwidth on your site. So you wanna make sure that you're paying for good, high quality hosting in order to do that um, customization. So that's probably gonna run you anywhere from like $20 a month up. Um, and I think that, and so that's gonna run you anywhere from like $20 a month up, just depending on how much traffic you have to your website. And so 
if you're looking at high quality hosting, it actually brings the Elementor hosting price right up there with the cost of show it website hosting. So as far as who gets the edge here, I say it's a toss up because you could make WordPress a lot cheaper by going with really low quality hosting, but I don't think it's gonna be your best bet or serve your audience the best and thus allow you to grow your business. So if you're gonna go with Elementor because you wanna save a little bit of money, make sure you get good hosting or save yourself peace of mind and save a lot of time and go with something like ShowIt. I feel like I should add one more little point in here about e-commerce. So ShowIt out of the gate is not an e-commerce platform the way that something like Shopify is but it integrates with WooCommerce and you can also add Shopify buy buttons or integrate other cart systems in order to make it a um, more checkout friendly, e-commerce friendly website platform out there. So on our Dave and Krista site, it is a show it site and then we also use WooCommerce to do our cart. Um, and it's a really powerful combination and it lets us have the power of WooCommerce and the beauty of show it. Elementor is also not a native e-commerce platform. You'll still need something like WooCommerce in order to get it to work correctly, but there are probably a lot of WooCommerce Elementor combination themes out there to let you add that to your website and bring in the e-commerce functionality. So that's my little caveat. All right, so that is the end of my point by point comparison about which website platform is the best fit for you. So it's totally possible to create beautiful and high functioning, high converting websites on both Showit and Elementor. I think the point really comes down to how technical are you? How much work do you wanna put into the website? And if you're in doubt, Showit has a free trial that you can test and Elementor, if you set up a WordPress hosting site, um, somewhere on the internet, you can install the free version of Elementor and test that out as well. In order to do a lot of the more powerful stuff with Elementor though, you are probably gonna need to pay for the premium version. And as I mentioned before, for what it's worth, in 95% of cases, I recommend show it over Elementor and it's what we've personally chosen for our website and brand. So if you have any questions about choosing a platform or either one of these platforms, you can drop those in the comments below. And if you like this video and you wanna see more content from us, make sure that you hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys.